walk into the building and it's completely buzzing. There isn't um, any space that's not got bodies in it. contemporary dance to students that don't access contemporary dance outside of Marion Lane or Newcastle Girls High. just learning to dance. They will see the benefits for them now in terms of the, their social aspects, their confidence, um, how they can communicate with one another, how they can problem solve, how it keeps them mentally well. Yeah, like we live here. So like, she could be like her, but we're bringing her back. We live here. They are surrounded, immersed, in a real creative atmosphere and it's second nature to them to be expressive. On top of all of that stands this. Yeah, so don't concentrate so much on your feet and your legs that you end up doing this. You know what? You need to practice this. Every turn I would go ah, to squeeze out the last bit of the turn. Yeah, yeah. So you're not going to have some snap into it. Snap, snap, play. I'm saying to you, and what happens after you're an amazing dancer? Because if you've got no soul, if you've got no character, if you've got no chemistry on stage, if you've got no artistry to go with it, you will blow the pants off most of your dance audience. I think the suffragettes piece came about because of their anniversary. Uh, I think it's 100 years or thereabouts. We put it to the group as an idea and they, they ran with it. So basically what we did was just show them some images and then gave them some creative tasks. Um, and they picked up on the struggle, really. The struggle of the suffragettes and what, what that looked like physically. We came in one day on Saturday, we didn't know anything about the piece before, but we just came in and there was like a whiteboard, like a projector thing, we were all like, what's going on? And then um, Pete and Martin played some like suffragette type videos and was like, this is what the piece is going to be about. And we all wrote notes and shared it and we kind of thought about the main like points and uh, ideas, themes, like we thought power. Because in some pieces you always know the story, but not in this much depth, so you can kind of like be that character. Show the height. Has he got some energy in it? Show. What's he doing? Flat, open, pointed. <coughs> Flat. Brilliant. Let's have a look. I feel like we don't really get taught that as much now. Yeah. But it allows you to kind of see it in a different light. Because when we're taught it at school, it's kind of just historical fact, historical fact. And then here you can like 
experiencing emotion. I feel like when you're sitting in a class, you don't really understand because they show you a picture. This is them trying to get away from the police. Like, but here you sort of like embrace it all and that like actually like physically realize what they like did. We make it a bit more bam, 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 bam. And then you come on with this lovely smiley faces and you're all like, yeah. Remember what the piece is about, remember the story. I think it's important for them as young people want to understand more about what um, the history of of it, but to being able to understand the context and have their own opinions on it allows them to actually have ownership in terms of the emotions that they bring as an artist to the piece. And yes, they're quite young and it's early days, but they're aware of the fact that they're trying to tell a story. No, but yeah, it ended sad. They have a very valid and honest opinion because it's theirs of what they're trying to portray while they're dancing. I think that's really important. When when here yeah, you get so creative and you get so into everything that we do, like every single week, it's something not something new, but like something more exciting. And you get so and yeah. you get so much energy, and you just come out and you're so buzzed. It's like mm -hmm. just it's the best feeling ever when you walk out. So some days you can come into the building and it's actually quite quiet, especially during the day. And that's when we can get a lot of our office space work done, um, a lot of our preparation done, a lot of our um, thinking time, project ideas. The location of the building is, is what really makes this place ideal for us. We're like two minutes away from the metro station and for a lot of our young people it makes us more accessible. We're just completing our business plan which is all hinged on a long term lease with this building, being able to raise the funds to do the essential repairs to the building and then possibly, well, we want to raise the funds to develop the building into, uh, to make it fit for purpose with some proper studios, some proper offices. I think you could say that your general working person will access the arts once they've achieved a certain standard of living. Working people want access to a lot more services. They don't consider the arts. Um, not everybody understands the contribution that the arts, arts and culture makes to the economy, etc., etc., etc. They just take it on face value for what it is right there and then. I'm putting the kettle on. Tea, coffee? Oh, definitely. Very strong cup of tea. Um, so there's like. Lord, just, thank you so much, Debbie. Yeah. So, so, and then you can tell us a bit yeah. about Gateway, yeah? yeah? And we're doing yeah. an exchange, and then I yeah. want to pick your brains on. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. When we moved to Gateshead, um, someone in Gateshead Council said, we want, we want a dance company yeah. uh, in Gateshead, give us a dance company. And I was like, no. And they were a bit shocked, because I'm a professional dancer. Why would you not want that? If, you know, you, you, surely you aspire to that. Yes, but there's no infrastructure of dance in Gateshead. Mm. It'd be bolted on. The people in Gateshead would hate us. They wouldn't appreciate the work we do. They wouldn't come to see us. And then we'd be here for two or three years and then we'd just fade away. Okay. Or it would be so successful, but it would have nothing to do okay. with okay. the people in Gateshead. And that's not what we're about. Mm. And you know, so if that's what you want, there's loads of artists out there that will give you that. But if you give us a studio, we will spend first two to three years going around schools, working in the community, building so building that. Yeah. We have
have spent a lot of time in our communities, working with them, supporting them, getting to know the young people, their environment, their families. So from from the, the backstage crew, how professional they are, and the six and seven. surviving and earning all the money but there's also that side where we constantly are uh, uh, f pressing against the status quo we're constantly pushing against the boundaries that keep us confined so we're a kick but we but essentially we're a private dance school but yeah. we don't behave like that yeah um, you've got ethics I, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're calling it homegrown because it's all our own work, it's all work that we've done within Gateway. Um, a lot of the choreographers come from Martin, myself, or through our Phoenix Academy. It's a showcase of all of the work that we've done in the past year. It's a great opportunity to share our work with parents that don't really 
go to the theatre perhaps or don't get to see dance so it's really nice to be able to share that work with them in a theatre setting. So, um, do you want to take it upstairs to see if the has lost the two We have turned the projects away. Um, if a school wants us to go in and do two workshops with difficult, hard to reach kids, but yet they'll throw hundreds of pounds at us, we'll say no. Because it's about why are we doing that? So, we're not scared to do that. And I think we can do that because we're not funded. We can pick and choose what we want to do. We can decide through Martin's creative vision what projects are we going to think about this year. That's what we do. This is our life. Yeah. Yeah. At the moment, we're doing and is that the same five, process? six, seven people's jobs between two of us. If Martin was funded for his role and I was funded for my role, we'd actually be able to do them roles 100% of the time. We really are on top of trying to grow what we do know we're having to learn, and most of our time is spent learning what we don't know. That as dancers, we have such a wide skill set that we should be able to solve anything. We should be able to do that. Between us, our skill set should be that vast. That even if we don't know how to do it, we should be able to learn how to do it, yeah. or yeah. have have access to somebody that can help us with it. Yeah. So I think once we think like that, yeah. anything's achievable. Yeah. We might not be great at it, but we, we can definitely give it a good go. Yeah. And I guess that's why we survive. Because we'll give anything a go. Yeah. Yeah. We might not be doing it well, but we'll give it a go. 